himself to write a memo to President Muhammadu Buhari informing him that terrorists are consolidating their grip on communities in the state with a parallel government. The governor raised the alarm on Thursday, adding that the terrorists have advanced their plans to make Kaduna forest areas their permanent operational base for the northwest region, citing a series of intelligence reports. El Rufai also informed the president that the terrorists have enacted a law to ban residents from participating in the 2023 general election and are now settling disputes. In Hello, my people. It's Tony here again. Ah, as you could see from the opener, El Rufai is facing hell now. Hell in the hands of kidnappers, in the hands of terrorists, in the hands of the people they invited to the country in 2014 to take over from, to help them take over from Jonathan. The evil they perpetuate then is now haunting them. And when everybody is telling them, let's quench this uh, fire, let's quench this fire. No, no, they said no. They send America away. All the intelligence in Nigeria, all the former generals wanted to step in and quench this fire. They said no. Because of that, you know how many generals got, uh, went down? You know how many head road? One of them is the man you are seeing on the screen, uh, Dr. Obadiah. They killed the man for telling the truth, for trying to help Nigerians. You know, you know how many lives they would have saved? You know how many lives they would have saved if they had listened to the Americans when they came in 2016 to help. When this man is crying over there, cry, cry, cry. All the generals cry, cry, cry. Let's do this, let's do this. Buhari turned his deaf ears. If the police catches the, the terrorists, they will go and release them and, um, and restate with you there, restate back into the, into the community. They are in our forces. They are in the army forces. They are in the police. All our borders are open. They were, they were charging ransom. They made them rich. Now, these people have grown wings. They are now out of their controls. They now vow to kidnap Buhari and Erufa. Erufa knows. That they will do it they know the, because they know their capacity they are the one that employed them brought them to the country now they are now reside in his own backyard because they determine they determine to take him now he came out and he's crying writing memo it's too late it is too late hair it is too late you have to deal with this by yourself and alone apc have few months to go. By February, all of you will be gone. Gone forever. A new people, a new set of people will come in. Nigeria will give a new set of people chance. And whatever you, all the secrets you've been keeping, it will, be, it will be opened. It will be open Because all your evil men in the, in the army forces, in the police forces, in the custom, in the naval, everywhere, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. The finance, in the finance, um, the head of the finance, they are all full of this. They are all full of this. Everything, they, you flush everything out, whether you like it or not. Come 2023, Nigerians are not joking. Nigerians have woken up. This evil cannot, cannot continue. Dr. Badai, I was telling it then, you, you people, you got rid of him. But it's not resting. But look at you now, every fight. You are now running up and down, running to Buari. Why are you running to Buari? Why are you running to Buari? Are you not the, the security officer of your state? Are you not? These are your king's men. Now you cannot handle them. You are running up and down. Thank you, my people. I hope you learned something from this video. Come 2023, vote better people. Kick out APC, kick out PDP. Let peace reign. Thank you. Bye for now. General of the Federation and Minister.